GCSE Maths cosine rule in 86 seconds. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's have a look at this. It says calculate the length of BC. Now, here we're going to be able to use the cosine rule. And the reason is because we have a non right angle triangle. We're given an angle and the two sides either side of that angle. And we want to find the size of the third side length, which conveniently is opposite our angle. So we can use our cosine rule, which is given to you guys in the formula book that tells us that A squared equals B squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So we're going to plug in our values. We have a squared equals b and c are going to be these two side lengths here. So we have 15 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times by b, which is 8, times by c, which is 15, times by cos a, which is going to be cos of our angle, 70. Now, I just want to make this very clear. Our angle is going to be this capital A here, and lowercase a has to be the side length opposite the angle. Now B and C, it doesn't matter which way around those two are, but lowercase a has to be opposite our angle, capital A. Now that we have this, we can plug it into our calculator. We get a squared equals 206.96 to two decimal places. Now to find the value of a, we can square root both sides. We're going to get a equals the square root of 206.96, which if we plug the gain into our calculator would give us 14.38 eight to two decimal places, that guys is going to be our answer.